after this, bro walks outside, and the whole SWAT team is here to greet him. Mans is surrounded, so bro starts walking out, and the sniper's already got his ass in sight. So one of them takes a shot and sends him Ooh, flying. And good the hit. Finally, looks like the end of oh Hero. Oh my god. Alas, bro reveals his trump card. And but online. So this man takes flight and just starts spamming lasers. Everybody just starts getting hit. You nasty. Talk about Sage, your man behind the camp director here with the CJ Champ reaction. Hero Shishigimi anime's deadly serial killer. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is. I've never heard of him. I can't imagine why or what he's done, but he's about to enter the asylum, I believe. Not the Air Force table, but the asylum. Oh, wait, is this an asylum or is this the Air Force table? Hmm, that's a tough decision. Can you be on both the asylum and the Air Force table? Questions that only one man can answer. And that man is CJ. I legitimately know nothing about this, so we're actually just gonna jump into this. I don't have much to say because I don't know what to say. Uh, if you made this friend already, sub, like, all that cool stuff. Go show CJ some love. Let him know we over here watching, showing support. We're about to jump into it. Robo 6, going dark. So SEAL Team 6 busted in the house and oh just shot the kill. The grandma got unloaded on. Oh my so god. Dropped off and they just started dumping mags in Hero. Apparently bro did not escape that five star oh hornet level. Oh lord. This is the Order 66 level stuff. My god. Yo, grandma! Today, I'ma just be honest with y'all. Out of the three to four years I've been doing this, I have never seen someone or something just like this. Five. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a disclaimer right now. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are about to witness it's is one of Cooch anime's Cooch. deadliest serial killers. So be warned, a lot of bodies will drop in this video. Jesus. A lot more than oh usual. Oh my God. You're probably wondering, I right, CJ, who is this? Are you acting like he the second coming of Satan. Well, you wouldn't be far off. Ladies and gentlemen, the Robo Finger Banger himself. What? The now, Robo now, Finger work, Banger? Technically be like a trial, but a lot more simpler. Because all we need with this is just a simple kill count. Because with all the victims oh you are Lord. about to see, this is going to be the only way to keep up with this man's actions. So I got my calculator. I hope you got yours too. Because without further ado. Finger bang, bang, this bang, bang, stop. bang, bang, finger bang. Case one and two, swords uh, ahead. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, to understand the killer of this investigation, we first must understand, well, who is this nigga? Okay, right, cool. Meet Hiro Shishigami, 17-year-old high school student. Now, off the rip, you first look, look at him and you think, <laughs> this generic-ass anime nigga looking like a run-of-the-mill isekai protagonist. <laughs> no, he really do. Who can even hurt a fly? I mean, look at him. Bro's at his friend's house reading One Piece glazing the fuck out of Oda. Oh, God. Oh, my glorious king, Oda, this chapter this week was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is how you want these niggas be. A prime example of don't judge a book by its cover. So he's at oh his friend's house to check up on him because bro's been getting bullied lately. So he tells him, hey man, I know what to cheer you up. Come outside real quick. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Now, nah, when he just, when his friend got up and he's looking at his friend get up, I ain't gonna lie. He looked like a killer. The sun in his eyes, the way they draw or animate his eyes, he looked like He's he go, he's a body catcher. Don't ask me how. It, it is not even because CJRA profiled that he's a serial killer. Yo, there's literally like this weird, creepy look they added to his face. Man outside. It's weird. Says, you see them crows, my boy? Peep this. This man makes his hand a gun and goes, Bum, and straight up snipes the crow out of the air. Like, bro, that poor crow. Bro's just Wait. chilling, enjoying his day, and got sniped. What a power. I watching this just puking in their mouth right now. Bro's first victim that cash? is a crow. So now I know you're wondering, what the hell is going on, and what the hell is he? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this man right here is wow. Cyborg. But Japanese. <laughs> Japanese Cyborg. So this is where this gets wacky, so bear with me. So one night, this so, man ended up getting... All of a sudden, I feel supported. When I said something about his eyes, he's a full fucking cyborg. It makes sense. Getting involved in a hit and run with some aliens. What? Yes, what? I'm not joking. Him and the old ass man who's the main character got ran over by a UFO. So the aliens what? obviously felt guilty. They was like, 
<laughs> nah, them things are creepy. I don't like this. Well, they ended up restoring them and basically making them Terminators. But you see, this is not all he can do, though. Next, That's insane. Best Buy to Wait a minute. On that over Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. The aliens hit them, and they're like, yo, if we don't put them back, then they're going to know aliens hit them. So they just, so they just restore them as cyborgs. Cause they're like, yeah, if we just leave these bodies here, they'll know aliens hit them. Nigga, that's stupid. This show's funny though. <laughs> <laughs> about to get scammed by these niggas. So bro puts oh his hand God. on the TV and switches the channel to uh something I cannot show. You know what? Play the jingle. Oh, okay, simple. And he put it on every single TV in the store. So oh this man is not God. just a Terminator. He is also a God tier hacker. And this right here is his best perk. Because he can go to ATM and take out as much money as he wants. Oh, oh I tell you, if I had this shit, you know what? Let me stop, bro. Let me stop. But anyways. Nah, I'm going to let these aliens hit me. How the hero actually is. So after they leave the store, hero tells his friend, yo, man, you want to see something really cool? So they go to the side of the street and this motherfucker becomes Mozart. This man starts conducting traffic and just making all the cars hit each other. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Look, bro's even controlling truck. Boom. Straight up floored this car. And wow. look at him just standing here admiring the chaotic art he just created. And they just walk away like it's nothing. And he's like, did nah. you enjoy my chaotic masterpiece? I'm looking at his friend like, funny, bro. Man, his best friend even started to question him. Okay. He don't try to kill him. Okay. Yo. <laughs> I was just like, nah. I was looking at the friend funny. If somebody does that shit in front of me, I'm like, oh, man, that's cool. And I'm like, yo, this nigga crazy. I need to find a way to get away. I'm Because I'm not turning him in. I'm not turning him in. I just need to find a way to exit the situation as cleanly as possible. But now, ladies and gentlemen, this is where the investigation really starts. So prepare yourself. So later on that night, this man is outside playing Ring Around the Rosie by himself. And what? lands on this house and says, you're it. So this man walks inside the house and has the audacity to say, I'm home. So then the lady turn around and look at him like, um, excuse me, baby, you in the wrong house. The wrong house? Nah, you in the wrong house. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh. It's just this lady in the chest. Yo, no. right through the middle, the bro. But now, My look, God. he wasn't done. He goes over to her body no. and just starts shooting her body. Dumping holes in her. Bah, bah, bah. Like, bro, she is already dead. Stop. She ain't getting up. Oh, well, you this see, is bro terrible. wasn't done yet. He hasn't got his high off. Bro is about to clear the whole house. Next, oh, he goes my. to the bathroom and finds the dad bro, playing yeah, with what? his son. So, obviously, the dad's like, ah, who, who are you? Papa, who is that? Uh, honey, bud. Uh, who, who the hell is this? Uh, Shut up, nigga. So bro tries Honey to shoot dead. his kid, but Hero just shoots him in the back. So then the dad asks, where, where, where's my wife? Oh, she's just downstairs. Oh, thank God. With four holes in her back and one in her chest. <laughs> so the dad begs for Hero to Damn. spare his son. And this man coldly says with no emotion, nah, the kid dies too. So then he booms the dad oh in the head. God. And the kid. Oh my yeah, god. That little nigga drowned no. in the And look at this fucker. Bro said, Oh, I feel alive. That's the high I needed. What? Oh, but you thought he was done? Oh no. Now we get oh to the most infamous part of this whole Wait, episode. that's so the That's not the worst part? How is that not the worst part? The kid drowned on his daddy, bro. It gets worse. Yo, we're like five, six minutes in and it gets worse. Now, my question is, is this a side effect of the alien cyborg transplant? Or was he always just off? He just never had the means to be this insane. Because there's a big difference. There's some people who like, for instance, there's people who... They didn't turn crazy. Like, they were always crazy, but they couldn't get away with shit until they got money versus somebody who was fine, 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 got money, and then turned crazy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I mean. Comment down below which one you think it is. Daughter comes home and just sees her mom's lifeless body on the floor. So she bags up, and this nigga's just standing right here. So bro says, take a seat. 
I want to see if you know ball. So he makes her sit down if on you these know stairs, ball? puts the gun right in front of her head and asks her, and I'm not joking, real dialogue. What kind of manga do you read? I beg your pardon. Oh God. What? Don't say it's a Kai. Don't say it's a Kai. Attack on Titan. What piece? Oh, you know ball. Real quick though. Gun to oh, the you back know of your ball. head ain't five One Piece characters. Oh shit. Zoro. Uh huh. L L Luffy. Bitch, who the fuck is that? Who's pronouncing names and shit? <laughs> nah, you, you gotta go. Bro, remind me of. Shut up, Ace. Got the Smash Bros. cuts. That figures out. Oh girl my watches God. anime, and then they starts giving them a whole ass examination quiz, and they wonder why they get no holes. So after Bro quizzes her, he starts to rub up on her and starts to hit her oh with that no. psychotic nigga riz and just no. cuts her hand open. So she starts screaming and running for her life. But sadly for her, her speed attribute was lacking. So Bro booms her. And just like that, this motherfucker to murder the whole family. Like this is a different oh type of level of sick. Like I know I've done multiple characters in the past, but this murdering a whole family of four in cold blood is wild. But nah, we'll come back really to the is. suburban family incidents in a minute. Cause next nah, it's actually wild. High bullies. So as we know from earlier on, Hero's best friend has been skipping school lately because he's been getting bullied. But Hero told him, don't worry about it, goody old pal. I'll deal with those bullies for you. So the next day at school, the bullies see that his friend Ando is back in class. So you already know uh -oh. they're ready to harass this nigga. So bully number one. Yo, time out. The table. That nigga looks like he should be getting bullied himself. There is no fuck way I'm letting this tall ass, fake ass Coro no basketball four eyes bully me. Man, fuck out of here. Let me come with his sorry ass roast. Hey, buddy, we haven't seen you at school lately. But do you know who also hasn't been at school lately? My mom! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, yeah. Regularly, so. <laughs> but Hero ends up stopping him, and everybody in the class is stunned. They like, oh, nah, little nigga playing with his life. So bully number one looks at him and says, wow, you've got balls, kid. But do you know who's also got balls? My mom. <laughs> What's a man? <laughs> his wrist and starts crushing it. Then look at the yeah. Like, oh, God. Who is this strong ass nigga? So then Hero says, what's my name, nigga? <laughs> what's my motherfucking name, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> now quit. No, it's actually kind of fire. Fuck out my face. So Hero ends up dealing with the bullies and they take the walk of shame. But do you think he was going to let them off? The never. Day? A good bully would never let that so shit slide. The end of the day, they I guess he might be a little bit of a good bully. Ends up spotting know. the bullies walking with the hoes. So he gives his friend some binoculars. No. He says, watch this. And this man says the phrase four times. Huh. 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 And Ando ends up spotting him. And them boys that got the right in front of the hoes. I mean, what a shit of flowers for these dudes, bro. First, they get embarrassed in front of the whole class. Then they get sniped in broad daylight right in front of their hoes. Uh, no, nah, not gonna lie, that is embarrassing. That might be one of the worst ways I've ever seen somebody go out. So obviously, the witness to this murder, his best friend, is officially on skates with bro now. Blood was like, to be honest with you, I can't fuck with you no more, my bro. So Hero was like, you're okay, crazy. Just make sure you keep on going to school. And just like that, the high school bullies case comes to a close. But like I said earlier, we're not done with the suburban families incidents because obviously it stays oh. families, not just family. So while this man is walking home, he just stops for a second. What? And I'll be honest with you, I'm actually going to have to play this scene because you have to hear the audio to understand what happens. So roll the clip. The dog? That's why I don't have one. Ah, stop. As we clearly heard, this nigga just murdered a dog. Are oh, we not done yet? Keep the clip rolling. This nigga just killed a mother, a grandpa, and a baby. Oh, oh lordy, lordy, lord. But bro, no, that's wasn't crazy, done. bro. While he's walking away, he sees these two kids. No way. And bro turns around, points his finger at him, and said in his head, Man, fuck them kids, bro. <laughs> I'm mad I laughed right before. Cause that's okay. Yo, already, ladies and gentlemen, Yo, it's now time for cake. It's, it's cause it's cause that clip, man, fuck them kids, bro. That made me laugh. But yeah, nah. Yo, cause he heard a dog and a baby.
Yo, imagine, hear me out, right? Imagine you minding your own business, right? You eat some Taco Bell, and you just really blowing your guts out. And this man happens to walk by while you fighting for your life on the toilet? And you was maybe fighting for your life just a little too loud? Or maybe you hit one of those too loud? And he just roll up in your crib and just blast you, bro? Nah, this man's, he's sick! He's sick, son! Case three, the media massacre and the Discord mods. Now there are a couple plot points that we have to go the over. The Discord mods. Case. And there what? Are two people who are very important to this case, and oh that is God. none other than his mama and his daddy. Now, Hero's what? parents are split. The mama is in the trenches, and the dad, oh God. that nigga, living his best life. Oh damn! Different family, new wife, oh, new kids, no. nice ass crib. This nigga at the city top of my life. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I'm sorry. This mama get diagnosed with cancer, bro. Oh. But while she shit, got stage this four, man, bro. Hero, ends up figuring out that he can cure all diseases. <laughs> Yes, this man has evolved again from Terminator what? to hacker to walking medkit. This walking man can med literally cancer. cure anything from the 19 to Ebola. It don't matter, bro can fix it. And after he cures his mom, bro starts robbing the ATMs again and moves around the hood. So life seems to be going great for Hero. Bro done moved his mama to a new crib. W son? Infinite money glitch going on. W but son? All good things come to an end. So obviously the multiple suburban family murders he committed. Yeah, that's national news now. And there's a massive oh manhunt going on looking for the killer. To which we know who that <laughs> is. Yeah. Watching the news with his mom. Peep what she says right here. Oh Lord have mercy, this is terrible. I'd like to meet the parents that would raise such a child. <laughs> Ma'am, I have some terrible news for you. <gasps> So the next day, they get a knock on the door. And oh my God! Who it is. Yo, oh my God, CJ, CJ, why, why would you use that knock sound? Oh my God, I'm gonna shit myself. I really I'm gonna shit myself, bro. That was too real of a knock. Who the fuck knocked on my door like that? <sighs> Fam, headphones wearer, headphone wearers, yo. Don't jump the way I jumped. <sighs> Ma'am, I have some terrible news. Oh, my God. That's the most cop so knock I've ever heard, day, bro. They get a knock on the door, and y'all already know who it is. Oh, because he left fingerprints and shit. Playing no games with this nigga. They jumping his ass right in front of his mama. Oh my god. <laughs> and look at his mama, bro. She is devastated. God, my nigga. Why? Making your mama cry like this is crazy. So Hero has no choice but to just throw all of them off of him and just run for his life. Yo, did you see his face? This man's life is over. Bro is the most wanted man in Japan. News media outlets got him listed everywhere. So while this man is okay. on the run, he ends up meeting the most important character in this entire case, his accomplice, Shion. Now, it's the reason why she's the most important character is oh something God. that we'll learn later. But right now, just know that she is sheltering Hero, which is illegal as fuck. And the reason why she's sheltering Hero- Who she need killed? guessed it. She's deeply in love with this motherfucker. No, 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 mm -mm, mm -mm. what is this one of those? I've always noticed you, senpai, but you never licked my way. I love you, so I'll help you. This dumb asshole. You know what? I would prefer she just wanted him to go catch a body for her. She's like, yeah, these girls have been bullying me. Could you do to them what you did for your friend's bullies? No, she really just loves him. Nah, fam. Nah, lock her ass up too. Actually, can I be real with you? Lock her ass up first. What? Because I love him. Girl, if you don't get the fuck about my face. Yo, I'm going to go back to say it. Yo, that last friend, I was looking at him funny. I apologize. I wasn't familiar with your game. You just lucky you ain't getting caught as one of those bodies. I also thought it was interesting. I was like, I was like, it's weird that he's just committing all this murder. He's touching doors and he's walking into houses. He's not really looking for no cameras and nothing. I'm like, is he really going to get away with this? But I'm glad to see that he's just not going to get away with it. He's just not. Because like, even with the ATM ca the cams, if you just like swipe and like you taking money out, like they, there's a record of that. There has to be. There's just no way there isn't. But whatever. I digress. 
Now I'm like, yo, the cyborg technology definitely had to warp his mind. Because, like, if you even care about being free or getting away with it, you at least would have still worn gloves. You know what I mean? Or if not worn gloves, you would have done something to make sure you weren't going to get caught. He was just arbitrarily catching bodies, bro. Even when he was doing the conducting the traffic shit, it's like, you really, any camera could have seen you standing there doing the da 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 and then I'm like, he's moving his hands and traffic is crashing. Obviously, he has something to do with this, but I digress. Animation. <laughs> Let's explain. Now it's time to focus on the first catastrophe, the media massacre. Oh, so late Lord. one night, Hero's watching the news, and he sees his mother being bombarded he by gonna go kill his mama. just being harassed online. Like, Twitter is cooking her shit right now. Not 50. It got so bad. Discord mods was on some SS Snipe Wolf timing. They doxed her. And this all ended up leading up uh -oh. to his mother offing herself. He flew and in the this space. Right here was the beginning of the crash out. So the oh next my day, god, crash out of here. He's getting bombarded by the media. So this man hero pulls up to his dad's house. Oh look, he's our Bro just started murdering everybody right in front of his dad. And look at this man. Now he got a whole class set up. Bro got a primary weapon now. And what? Praying and praying until nobody else was breathing. And that easily, this man just offed a total of 17 people in 30 seconds. And this man's dad is shook. He is like, oh Lord, son, please don't shoot me, son, please. And this man hero just coldly looks at him and flies off to his next victim. So after this man boomed 17 news reporters, next up Bruh. were the Discord mods. Now, as oh, we know, they doxed mama. why his mom offed herself is because she got straight doxed and harassed. And after she offed herself, they were still talking shit. Oh yeah, my god. Bitch. Hope she fucking rocks. But I <laughs> bag. Groove did nothing wrong. And Incorrect. Wild 9445. So ends up finding the Honestly, take him out. The dude who doxed his mom. So Hero ended up joining their Discord server and just started chatting. Bro said, I'm going to kill you all. So obviously the Discord mods think he bullshitting. Because they're making fun of him because they probably think he's off a of perk. Oh but then it my got to God. the point where Hero sent this message that said, I wish you would try and come and eliminate me, <laughs> fucker. <laughs> oh my God. What's good, fuck nigga? Hold on, let me get on the monitor real quick. Make sure you see me in HD, nigga. <laughs> this gotta be a joke or something, right? <laughs> this is preposterous. This is preposterous. Dox my mom, right? Uh, no, I didn't. Only when I dox you. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> you know what happens next, right? And what are you gonna do? Leak my lollicon hentai folder? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, he's good, I was just trolling. He shot him. Fat boy. I want you to look good on camera. Lord Jesus! Ha, 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 Do the camera he's shooting at? Oh, that's crazy. Eat my booty crack, mother trucker. Oh. Got him. So after this man murdered Lollicon 445, he sent the video to every single person in the server and just started offing every single one of them. It didn't matter where you was at. He found you, nigga at the library, dead, crossing the road, at school, at a meeting, on the subway. Every single one of these niggas got boomed. And look at the last dude praying for his life. Please. Timmy my sad. Talk shit, nah. Man. And just like that, all 12 of the Discord mods that were talking shit about this man's mom were all found and murdered within the hour. Nah, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Hey, unpopular opinion. Discord mods, I don't feel bad about them. Not even a little bit, bro. Because, like, when you sit around talking shit about people like that, and, you know, I'm a very big believer of, if you're not going to say it to my face, you really shouldn't be saying it nowhere. Unpopular opinion, but I don't feel bad for them. Oh, I was, I'm not riding with the MC either. I'm not riding with the MC either. He needed Shanae. These aliens need to come back and take all them parts out of him, send his ass back to what he was, to refactor, reset his ass to humanism. Without a doubt, I do not ride with this MC. But I also don't feel bad for those Discord mods. 
I will not. That's that. Comment down below. How do you feel about these Discord mods getting bopped? Be honest. Be brutally honest. How do you feel about the Discord mods being bopped in it? Especially if you made it this far. I appreciate you. Because I, I, I think that one is going to be controversial. That I'm like, yeah, Discord mods, they could get it. But they'd be like, yeah, but this guy's a psycho killer. You, sh you saw what he did to the media. You saw what he did to the families. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He should be prosecuted and murdered to the full extent of the law. People like Kim Shane have a trial. Just get rid of him. Fuck due process with someone like that. But in the same breath, those Discord mods, they really ain't shit either. Did they deserve to die? Probably not. But I'm just not going to feel bad. That's what you have to hear. I'm just not going to feel bad. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the grand finale, the final case, the NPA massacre and the Shinjuku incident. Shinjuku. Now, remember when I told you At least that she the most important character in this Fucking entire case Shion. and will be the glue to everything? See, here's the thing. She basically plays the role of I can fix him. And to be fair, she did. This nigga grew what? a soft spot for her, even though nice before he contemplated on killing her and her grandma. Look, nigga got the gun to her forehead about to blow her brains out. But she ended up convincing this man to start saving people. So this man started actually saving people's lives. He was curing cancer patients, paralyzed people, and just overall doing good deeds. It was a wow. miracle. So this man was in hiding for a good two months, living with the only light he had in life his sunshine but why what is that lebron bro when you take that light away well uh -oh. that's the police department oh my god going dark so SEAL Team 6 bust in the house and just shoot to kill. The grandma got unloaded on, Shorty got dropped off, and they just started dumping mags in Hero. Apparently, bro did not escape that five-star wanted level. So bro has to blow a hole in the house to make his escape and just squad wipe the whole SWAT team. So after this, you nah, just see this hear me out. Just yeah, right here. Just nah, right here. I understand. Y'all know how evil and strong he is, so you kind of had to overcorrect. I understand that the people in that house were harboring a very dangerous fugitive. I understand. But you, yo, the way they took out grandma, I'm going to say it again. Anything he does after this, depending who he does it to, he still got to go. He got to go. No doubt about it. We got to melt his ass in some fucking, in, in the hottest furnace we could find on some T20, on TI-83 shit. Terminator 2 shit. I know TI-83 is a calculator. Get off my dick, okay? <laughs> but like, he got to go. But they shouldn't have killed that woman and that kid. They should not have killed them. Yo, grandma was just like, huh? Devastated. Now, they're not dead because of his healing factors and shit oh! that this all led up to. And I mean this literally. The biggest crash. So, once again, I paused too soon. Uh, I retract my previous statement. <laughs> Actually, no. I st I'm standing on it. They just... They if he didn't have the healing factor to save them, they was dead. I'll stand on it. In he still gotta go. So, now it's time to focus our sights on the NPA. So, later that night... Hero shows up to the police department with a hood over his head, looks at the security guard guarding the front door, and just booms him in the head. And you just hear shots and screams from the outside as this man is just mauling his way through the hallways, doing his oh best God. Anakin Skywalker impersonation. Like, you cannot tell me this nigga does not look like Anakin when he slaughtered XQ the young order ones. 66. So right now, I said I it, bro. I want you to focus on the kill count this entire segment because we're actually going to get a precise number at the end of this. So now we focus on these two agents as they find Hero just standing here. Why? Run for your lives. Right, he wasn't playing no games. He straight up said, suck my dick, nigga. So he booms Hero in the head and a bunch of other dudes pop out of cover and just start booming them so after they dump all the ammo in them they like Ugh, sir i think we got him hoorah motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the hoorah face playing dead gets a triple kill straight headshots and the one agent runs at him to try to tackle oh him. Bro got derrick henry stiff arm and just put the gun to his head and said gun to the front of your head and they five one piece characters not straw hats <laughs> Wrong. 
Uh, I got so Odin and Yamato. Everybody in here. The last I don't know. Ask, what do you want and why are you doing this? And Hero tells him, well, Finally. you were going to come after me anyways, right? So I decided to save you the trip. And shoots him in the leg. So this man leaves him alive and says, I want you to witness me wipe out the entire police force in a night. So after this, bro walks outside and the whole SWAT team is here to greet him. Mans is surrounded. So bro starts walking out and the sniper's already got his ass in sight. So one of them takes a shot and sends them Ooh, flying. And the good whole hit. team moves in and just starts shooting. But it was not going to oh be that easy. God. These niggas was going against the Decepticon. So they finally pin him down and surround them. And this finally looks like the end of oh Hero. My God. But alas, bro reveals his trump card. And but online. So this man takes flight and just starts spamming lasers. Everybody just starts getting hit. There was no running, there was no hiding. Oh there. my god. Tracking. Nigga, this shit was worse than that phase Jarvis aimbot. And every single cop, detective, and SWAT team member got annihilated. And then bro's body just Jesus. fell down so the last two detectives that somehow survived just started shooting, bro, making him look crazy in this frame, looking like he getting head from Tiana Trump. And after Ooh, they run out of ammo, nice. bro just looks at him and just gets the easiest double, double kill, kill of his life. And of course, the last man standing is old boy he shot in the leg. And Hero just you should stay where you was, buddy. Told you, nigga, and just walks away, leaving him there. And oh. with that, this man killed a total of a whopping eighty-five people that night. And on the news, it goes more into detail. Just alone, 34 of his kills was just a SWAT team. So that means 51 of them niggas was boomed in the police station alone. And with that, bro just Jesus. wiped out the entire police force. But was he done? No. Because now it's time for this man's final act, the Shinjuku incident. So oh the literal my next God. Movie, this man hacks into all of the TVs and basically announces and says, Greetings, citizens of Japan. As of now, I will be declaring war on your country. And why is that, you may ask? Simple, because me and my shorty cannot live in peace with all of you heathens. No. And right before this man gets off of the intercom, he states, and remember, no Russian. Now, if you know what that term means, what? and you know who this is, then you know. Oh, no. So obviously, the citizens think nothing of it. They probably think this is a prank until this happens i know that mission bodies start dropping so panic just ensues nobody knows what the f is going on bodies are getting dropped left and right so then you see these dudes in the alley and they obviously calling for help until the dude gets boomed through his phone and that's when they end up figuring out hero is shooting them through their phone so then he ended up calling oh the news God. anchor so he was like ladies and gentlemen breaking news i have hero shishigami on the phone right now now sir you've done a very terrible wow. thing is there anything that you want to say to the public about the atrocities you committed shut up nigga <laughs> Bro shot this man on national TV. So Hero's best friend ends up sending a telecom message to everybody to put your phone down. So everybody ends up dropping their phone. But this man Hero got on the big screen and said, dropping your phones won't save you. Now, let the party continue. And bro just starts unloading on everybody through the TV screens. This shit just got ridiculous. And bro no, that's so absurd. Until it's so absurd. So so the next day, this man does the unthinkable. Bro lifts his hands up and everybody just starts looking in the air, just speechless. And then you see it, a big ass plane comes down and crashes. This the dropping plane, oh hell no! Bro used his hacking ability to basically EMP bomb the plane. And this wasn't the only one. This nigga dropped six of these bitches. Oh my God. In the of the city. This shit is just absurd at this point. But oh Jesus boy, now Christ, we gotta make some bro. big math. I ain't no damn mathematician, but look, there gotta be at least 300 bodies on each plane. Times that hoe by six. This nigga just dropped off 1,800 bodies. You could easily round this bitch to 2,000 with the collateral damage. Like, dog. And it wasn't that six just dropped. Anything in the airspace dropped. But luckily, the main character came in and saved the day. The this main character. Ten times worse than it already was. So after all this chaos, Hiro ends up confronting Mr. Inuyashiki and states, Why are you helping these people? You're just like me. So what the fuck are you doing? And Mr. Inuyashiki says, Because I'm a hero, young blood. Now what does that say about you, youngin? And Hiro starts crying. What? And realizes, damn, 
Looks like I'm the villain after all. So then he slaps this nigga in the chin, busting open his cranium, and just Oh my god. Him. So Inuyashiki has to take off because his daughter was in one of the buildings that got hit. But Hero was just no. chasing this man throughout the entire city. Oh my so the only god. Way to stop this man was to, I kid you not, drop a satellite on this nigga. So that's what he did. He dropped the satellite on the nigga, then ripped open his cranium, ripped off his arms, and just dropped him into an alley to make sure bro couldn't do no more shit. And that concludes the end of this man's atrocities. And with a This man is not a hero. The estimated 2035 bodies. And let's be real, it could be more. Hero Shishigami submitted himself as one of anime's deadliest serial killers. Now, get this. After this man got his ass whooped, he was basically cooked. Bro couldn't do shit no more. He had no hands. So this man goes back to his best friend's house, looking like a doomer, and just tells him, "Yo, you read that new One Piece yet? Her Oda was cooking this week. So bro read his last chapter of One Piece with the toes out. Went to go see Shorty for one more time. Crazy. Reflected on his life choices and blew himself up on an asteroid to save the world. Yeah, I know you're probably confused on the ending, but hey, I actually recommend go watching this anime. It's actually good as hell, but uh, what nigga, I've been really trying to have redeeming quality. Nah, fuck that nigga. You killed a fucking baby. <laughs> Yeah, no. Nah. To hell with him. Closed. This was that insane. Is our first of anime's deadliest serial killers. But anyways, man, hope y'all enjoyed. And before I forget, the hiatus hiatus is over on the second channel. So I'll finally be over there in between bits. Bro. But until then, I'm out. That was Hero Shigami, anime's deadliest serial killers. I want to be known right now. That old man is not a hero. That old man's not a hero. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. And I'm going to say the way CJ told the story, they probably, the old man was probably doing other things in the background. But the fact that this old man let this man get up to 2,000 bodies and then decided he needed to come take him out is insane to me. Now, if you told me the whole time he was chasing behind him, trying to figure it out, trying to get it, whatever it may be, or he's like, the authorities will handle it. Maybe. But this old man who said, well, if I'm the hero, you're the villain, bro, you are not a hero. You are not a hero, fam. If anything, you're borderline accomplice as far as I'm concerned, old man. You could have stopped this earlier. You should have ran his fade the first chance you got, but you was probably scared. I don't want to die either. Bruh. I'm not going to act like I'm much better, but at the same time, like, fam, you can't call yourself a hero if you showed up after 2,000 bodies, after he done killed the whole police department in the area, after he done started sniping people in the middle of the street, took out an entire media takeout. This man went down to World Star Hip Hop and cleaned out the offices, bro. And you're the hero? And you ain't finish him. He got toes. What if he just started shooting people with his toes? What if he didn't take time to go back and reflect? What you? What would you have done then? Yo, we're, as far as I'm concerned, that universe is lucky he decided to go take himself off on an asteroid after reflecting. Wow. That old man really had the nerve to call himself a hero. Yo, I don't know how long that anime is. If it's 12 episodes, and let me find out this old man popped up after 11 episodes to save it, to, to save everybody. Nah, you ain't a hero in my book, bro. You an opportunist. Wow. It wasn't until his daughter was caught up in one of these plane crashes. She could have had the phone up to her face. Wow. I want to know how these powers work. It's insane that through electronics, he can still snipe you, bro. That's wild to me. Aliens, bro. Aliens, man. Alien tech, man. This was, I'm not going to lie. This entire video was actually quite disturbing. This is one of those animes. It sounds dope, sounds awesome. I would never watch this. I would never in my all years of existence. That's too much for me, bro. Too much blood, too much bodies, too much everything. Like, I could not do it. Oh my God. Fam, that's nuts. That's absolutely nuts to me. This was 
This was honestly quite a disturbing video. I said some things in it that I'm not even gonna take back. I stand on it. I stand on the things I said, but I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite disturbed right now. This this is too much too far for my taste. Absolutely. However, CJ found a way to make it funny in parts where it shouldn't have been funny. He made me laugh when I didn't feel like laughing, and he told the story in a much better, more concise way. Wait, they did in probably over 12 to 24 episodes. This man managed to get it done in 26 minutes in a fantastic way, too. Because, damn, I ain't gonna lie. I'm with the powers, though. The powers are amazing. And they never answered the question. Was he already fucked up before he got turned into a cyborg? And then being a cyborg allowed him to carry out his fucked up fantasies? Or was he a fine, okay person? And then he got cyborg powers and he's like, well, now that I have the means, or maybe it switched something in his mind because the old man seems to be okay. He seems to be grounded in understanding. And even a hero at a certain point, at certain points, shows a lucidness and awareness of what he's doing and being very, very systematic about the way he's carrying things out. And even cares about people at the, someone at a certain point so i'm just like i'm just like i'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking at it funny I, I i those are some points where it's like i guess i would have to watch the anime or read the manga to know the answer to those questions but after seeing this i'm too disturbed to even think about looking it up if you watch it down below if you can answer that question because i am positive i'm not reacting to it probably never watch it on ybrs because it looks a little bit older i did see it had some cgi the cgi looks like a little get, 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 get a little iffy at times but for the most part, yeah, I'm not going to watch this. So feel free, if you made this far, feel free to spoil that shit in the comments. I actually do not give a flying fuck. Damn, this was wild. This was wild. I I'm not going to lie. After this, I'm gonna, I'm probably going to call somebody I care about and have a conversation. Because I'm, I'm honestly disturbed. I'm honestly disturbed. I'm not going to lie. Definitely a little disturbed. I'm going to have to watch something happy before I go to bed. This was fucked. This was truly and utterly fucked. But, I'm not gonna lie, still a fire motherfucking video. With that being said, we're gonna end this here. If you made this far and you haven't already, do the stuff I told you to comment down below. Don't be afraid to leave multiple comments. Edit your comment. Do what you gotta do. Uh, I'm your man behind the cam. As always, never forget, stay nasty, but not like this dude. That's too nasty. Ugh. You wanna go around? Oh, but I'm really fucking shaking, bro.